Hi, I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial of how to use mesquite to generate, um, say, one species tree and a gene tree contained within it using mesquite and coalescence. And so all you need is mesquite, which is runs in Java. So all you need is a computer that can run Java, Java runtime environment. And what you do is load up mesquite, go to file, start a new project, call it untitled or whatever you choose. And the first thing I'll ask you for is some taxa block. And this is usually you want to make this the species block. So we're going to make it a, a block of species, uh, let's say with eight taxa, seems appropriate. I'm just going to, I'm going to follow a lot of the parameters in this Madison and Knowles 2006 paper, uh, phylogeny with incomplete lineage sorting. Okay, so I'm going to make a species block here. This makes a new project. And the only thing it has right now is the species block, which has eight species. And I'm going to name them uh, capital A through B, C, D, E, all the way through. OK, so all, I, all it knows right now is I have eight species. And before I generate any trees, I think what I'll do is I'm going to create a block of genes, and these genes are going to be contained within the species tree. You can think of the, you can think of this idea of containment. Um, so what we want is a new block of taxa. And this time I'm going to call it genes. And for now we'll just do eight taxa. We'll have one gene in, in each tree, each sorry each species. And for convenience I'll name this lowercase a through b, a through e, whatever it's going to be. H. Okay, so now I have the species and the taxa genes. Okay, what you need now is this idea of containment. And what you do in mesquite for that is you go to tax and trees and make an association. And here you want to select, even tells you, you want to select which is going to be the species tree. So what I call species, that'll be the species tree. And give the names to the association. And what this pulls up is the, the species menu here. And what you do is you go through, okay, for species A, capital A, I'm going to associate lowercase a in the genes. And now for uppercase B, I'm going to associate the lowercase b for the genes. So you go through these item by item. A little mouse work here. Okay, so now I have the species and the genes, and I've told it that what genes are contained in what species. So, now we need some trees. So let's generate um, one species tree. Um, so what we do here is go to tax and trees and make a new trees block from. And we're going to simulate these trees using the uniform speciation yule. So this is a a pure birth process that'll create a, a random species tree here. And we want to base this off the species block. So we select species. And this is where we ask for the total tree depth. This is, um, this is the number of generations of the species. So I'm going to match what's in the Madison Knowles paper, which is 100,000. I'm going to omit the comma, so 100,000. And how many trees? Let's just do, well, let's do 10, 10 trees. And it'll ask you some business about putting it on a separate thread. So you say separate, sure. And then it'll ask you, okay, do you want to see your trees? Yes. And here you go. Here is one of the 10 species trees we just generated. I have my species A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And I can go here to scroll through the different trees. See, so they look kind of different. OK, so now we want to create some gene trees that are contained within the species tree. And in the end, we'll draw it like uh, an actual containment kind of diagram. It'll make it more clear. So what we'll do is maybe switch over here to the genes. 
and we'll make some more trees. This time we'll go to Tax and Trees, Make New Trees Blocked From, and this time we'll do Simulated Trees, but we'll do Coalescens Contained Within Current Tree. And what this is going to do is it's going to create gene trees that using a coalescence model from one of the species trees. So click this. This time we want to, we're doing um, trees on the genes, so we'll select genes. And now let's ask you for the effective population size. And again, I'm going to use 100,000, just like in this Madison Knowles paper. So I was 100,000 population. How many trees? Uh, let's do 100. Why not? And ask you to calculate this on a separate thread. Sure. Now this is important. It says the current tree for the coalescence contained within the current tree will be obtained from window tree window one showing stored trees. And what this is saying is it's going to take the tree that's currently showing in tree window one and use that tree, the first tree it sees there, as the, what the gene should be contained in. So click OK. And it says the trees are ready to see. Let's see them. And here are all our genes, trees. So you notice these are the gene trees. They're, they're associated with the gene taxa blocks. I have the lowercase a through h. Okay, it's not. So these are some of the trees. We have 100. But let's, let's get a better view of this. So now we have, this is our species tree number one. And all our gene trees were computed using coalescence contained in this first species tree. Let's do a better drawing, and, and Mesquite's pretty good at this. So if you go to drawing, back here on this tree window one, and go to tree form, and let's do contained gene trees. Okay, so here's some options. Just click OK. This is these default options. We want to do the stored trees. We don't want to read them from anywhere else. And here you go. Now what it's showing you is the, the big thick blue are, is the species tree, so this is our species tree, and the light green here are the gene trees, and this is the coalescence model here. So you can see that we have um, these two species and two genes, and it looks like they don't really coalesce at all, but maybe come back over here, look at these two genes contained with the species tree and they coalesce at this level here. So you can see where coalescence does and does not happen. And to change the gene tree you're looking at, but leave the species tree the same, you can click this arrow, and here's another run, another gene tree co using coalescence model simulated on this one species tree. And the way you can think of it is, um, let's find a better tree here. The way you can think of this, the coalescence model is it's a reverse process where you're you're starting, your genes are starting here, and they're going down the species tree, and they have some continuous probability of coalescing, depending on the width, which is the, um, the, the population, and also the depth of the species tree, which is the, the number of generations. So there you go.